atmospheric pressure, by definition, is the force per unit area that's exerted on a surface by the weight of the air above that surface. Here on planet Earth, we have an atmosphere that's made primarily of oxygen and nitrogen, and it exerts a force upon us that we really don't feel because we're exerting a force right back. Now, there are several different units that can be used to describe pressure. And we're going to be using three of those. And the three that we will be using are atmospheres, kilopascals, and millimeters of mercury, also known as TOR. Now, these are three equivalences. One atmosphere of pressure is equal to 101.3 kilopascals, which is equivalent to 760 millimeters of mercury. So at sea level on planet Earth, our standard pressure that we consider to use when we're doing calculations is to be any of these, one atmosphere or 101.3 kilopascals or 760 millimeters of mercury. They're all equivalent to each other, just using different units. So let's say that we go to Pikes Peak, Colorado. Pikes Peak is 14,110 feet above sea level, and if you went up to the top of Pikes Peak with a mercury barometer and measured the barometric pressure, uh, you might find that it was someplace around, let's say, 457 millimeters of mercury. And if you wanted to know what that would be equal to in terms of atmospheres, we would just use these conversion factors to figure that out. And you remember how to make a conversion. You make an X, you draw a line, whatever units you're starting with, you bring down to the denominator. And whatever units you're solving for will go up into the numerator. So if I want to know what 7, 457 millimeters of mercury is in atmospheres, I'll put atmospheres on the top. And according to my conversion factors here, one atmosphere is equivalent to 760 millimeters of mercury. So multiplying across the top and dividing by the bottom gives us 0. 601 atmospheres. So you can see that up at the top of Pikes Peak, the air is pretty thin and there's not a whole lot of oxygen up there, which is one of the reasons that they test race cars up there and um, athletes train up there, endurance athletes, and that's a topic for another day. So what would happen if we decided to go diving down into the ocean? Well, the further down you go, now you not only have atmospheric pressure pressing on you, but you've got the atmospheric pressure pressing on the water, which is pressing on you. So if you went down to about 50 feet below sea level in the ocean and measured the atmospheric pressure there, it would be someplace around, let's say, 1,151 millimeters of mercury. That's 50 feet below sea level. So what would that be in terms of atmospheres? We know here at sea level on our planet, normal atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere. So again, when we do a conversion, we make an X, we draw a line, and we bring whatever units are in the numerator down into the denominator. And whatever units that we're solving for will go up into the numerator. And according to our equivalences, our conversion factors, one atmosphere is equivalent to 760 millimeters of mercury. And then when I multiply across the top and divide by the bottom, these units will cancel and my answer will be in atmospheres. And when you solve for that, you will find that you get 1.5 atmospheres. So a lot more pressure or force upon anything that would be 50 um, <clears throat> feet down below the surface of the earth and a lot more a lot less air pressure when you go up to really high elevations